Now, we are less than 24 hours away from Ontario entering step three of its reopening plan. Some of the services reopening as of 12.01 a.m. include indoor dining and gyms with capacity limits. Indoor gatherings can resume with up to 25 people, while outdoor gatherings of up to 100 people will be allowed. Retail capacity restrictions can also be relaxed, provided that people can stay two meters away from one another. Masking and physical distancing policies will remain in place. Okay, it's a big step. Are you nervous about returning to normal tomorrow? We took to the streets this morning to find out. I am a little bit nervous, um, only because there's so much mixed messages. We don't know what to expect. I'm nervous in the sense that I'm scared that maybe people are gonna go over the top again and not care anymore. I think I just wanna be positive, looking forward and see how things go. Many experts say it's perfectly normal to have mixed feelings and even anxiety about the province's reopening. But how can we manage those emotions? To discuss this, uh, we join Dr. Sanjeev Sakalingham, a psychiatrist and clinical scientist at CAMH. Good morning, doctor. Um, let's talk a little bit about what reopening anxiety is all about. Is it a real thing? Thanks, Liza. It's uh, great to be here. And uh, uh, as in you, you showed in your clips today, uh, reopening anxiety is quite different for everybody. But in, in general, uh, you know, after 16 plus months of being in this pandemic, our, our brains and our environments and behaviors have been uh, significantly impacted. And as a result of that, we've learned to be on guard, uh, pay close attention to uh, all the threats around us from this pandemic about our safety, infection, and, and really focused on uh, restrictions and public health uh, limitations and keeping ourselves safe. So it's quite natural for us to uh, experience and think about anxiety with each phase of reopening that we're experiencing right now. So people might feel like they're being pulled in different directions. On one hand, there's worries about Delta. On the other, people want to just get back to normal. I know sometimes I get FOMO for people who don't know what that is, fear of missing out. If I don't go to the barbecue, what am I going to miss? But I'm still anxious a little bit. So um, can this anxiety manifest itself in different forms or ways? Uh, absolutely. And I think uh, when we think about anxiety, uh, we think about anxiety and stress, and then we think about clinical conditions of anxiety where it starts to impact our functioning. Uh, for anxiety in general, it can start to manifest as avoidance, right? And being nervous about those situations, being extremely worried and being preoccupied with the concerns uh, and fears about our safety or uh, going into new environments and the what ifs. Um, and it can also result in kind of uh, our kind of feeling our physical sensations of mm -hmm. uh, feeling a bit on edge, maybe heart rate racing when we're thinking about things, sleeplessness as well. And that's a critically important to think about and, and monitor our sleep during this time. Uh, so really a range of things from our health worries to uh, about situations. And again, as I mentioned, as it starts to get out of control and start to impact our functioning, that's when we really uh, start to think about having a more clinical type of anxiety. The good news, though, is there are some things that people can do to manage uh, their anxiety about reopening. We have a board up, but what are your three tips here for people? Well, I think the first thing is in a time of uncertainty where we didn't have much control, really focusing on what you can control with each stage of reopening. So, for example, if you're going out uh, someone invites you to a barbecue, you know, thinking about is it's outdoors? Uh, what are what's my risk in that environment? Uh, is there opportunities for physical distancing, wearing masks in uh, in uh, more indoor type environments? And of course, the uh, the a longstanding question that we have now the last couple of months is, you know, are people vaccinated at this gathering mm -hmm. and, and how am I going to manage that? And then the next phase is to think about proceeding really reopening very gradually. You don't have to do it from zero to 100 right away. Really, we're all relearning and using our social muscles again. So thinking about doing it gradually. And then lastly, always continuing to kind of rely on our personal supports. And if we're really feeling anxious, to reach out for more professional support in those circumstances. Okay, Dr. Sanjeev Sakalingam, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Some great points. Thanks. Thank you. Take care. Okay, time now, 8.09 a.m. Let's go to Stephanie Henry and a look at your traffic. Steph.